Good morning. I am here with the new principal at Charles Sound High School, Mr. I. Husen, in a little get to know you session. Mr. I. Husen comes to us from Jeffersonville High School, but with an extensive background in both military and education. We're going to spend a little time this morning talking and getting to know our new principal. Mr. I. Husen, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So we are going to start just with a few questions, kind of to get to know you and a little bit about your background. Okay. So the first question is, how long have you worked in education and what positions have you previously held? Um, I've been in education for about eight and a half years. Mm -hmm. I was in the classroom teaching Air Force JROTC for just under three years before I got the opportunity to step in an assistant principal's role at Jeff. Mm -hmm. um, I spent four years there as an, an assistant principal or an academy principal. Um, and then I had an opportunity. Uh, we moved to Texas. I was a high school principal at Crandall High School just outside of Dallas in Texas for a year. Um, but after being there for about five months, we realized that Southern Indiana is really our home, being a military family. And so we were... We were only gone for 366 days before we moved back and uh, spent the first part of the year at Jeff as an AP and now I'm here at uh, Charlestown as a, as a principal. So very Perfect. exciting. Yeah, very yeah. exciting. So what are you uh, most looking forward to about your time here at Charlestown? Um, building, building culture or school culture is very important to me, mm -hmm. um, but the relationships in the building are absolutely the most important thing. And so getting to know the staff um, and getting to know the students is my first priority. Um, school safety, always very high of any principal's building, so I want to go through and make sure that, you know, in terms of the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, that, you know, we're making sure we're meeting those expectations for school safety. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other big thing is, like I said, culture. I want a building for our staff and our students um, to enjoy coming to school, right? Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure we have a strong school culture to make that happen. Yeah, that's super fun and super encouraging to me. To hear as a student. Well, thank you. So you kind of already answered this a little bit, but what led you to Charlestown, like specifically like Charlestown High School? Um, well, when we decided to come back to Southern Indiana, um, Pam Hall, who is a very good friend of mine, the principal at Jeff High School, um, you know, she and I talked about opportunities moving forward when I came back just because um, we both thought that, you know, taking that next step from assistant principal to principal is the next logical thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just kind of how things happened with Miss Cook getting that opportunity um, in the neighboring district. Um, nine times out of ten, uh, when Miss Hall and I talk about, you know, procedures throughout the building, um, it'll be a very informal thing. And one day she mm -hmm. walked into my office and was like, hey, let's take a walk. She never does that. So immediately you I was like, okay, was hey, what's going good. on? Yeah. <laughs> and she said, hey, and kind of talked about the situation when she got the opportunity to take over as the principal at Jeff. She said, well, congratulations, you're going to get that opportunity at Charlestown because you're going to be the next principal there. And that's kind of how it happened. Wow. Um, and I didn't know a lot about Charlestown. You know, my son wrestled at Jeff, and so Charlestown has an amazing wrestling program. And so mm -hmm. I knew that part, um, but I didn't know a lot about it. But in the short period of time that I've been in the building, dealing with the staff and dealing with the students, I'm super impressed with both um, and very excited about this opportunity. Awesome. I love to hear that. Now, what do you hope, like, specifically to accomplish? You mentioned safety and you mentioned mm -hmm. culture. Are there some specific goals that you have for Charleston High School? Well, I know, first off, I want to get to know all of the traditions that take place here at Charlestown. Mm -hmm. um, I'm from a small town in, in Nebraska, and so I understand the relationship between a, the, a small town and the high school. Mm -hmm. That's a very important it's relationship. Essential, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and there are obviously some things that are completely off limits, like these are things that are yeah, Charleston can't touch specific. those. Yeah. Can't touch those. <laughs> so I want to get to understand and learn those things, um, but I'm also very excited to carry on the excellence that Mr. Loeffner and Ms. Cook both, you know, had running at, at Charlestown, and then also maybe establish some new traditions um, mm -hmm. that benefit the students and the staff as well. Yeah. Awesome. That sounds so exciting. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to your time here, and I'm sure uh, the rest of the staff and students here at CHS are. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, now we're going to get to, uh, we're going to play a little, like, rapid fire. Okay. We're going to do a little blitzkrieg with the questions. Okay. Um, these are going to be fun and silly questions, so just no answer them to the best of your ability. So, first, what is your favorite movie or TV show? Um, movie, the Jason Bourne series. Uh, okay. I'm a big spy guy. Okay. So, Love that series. Espionage. Um, yep, mm -hmm. espionage, all that. That military background. I spent a lot of time overseas, so definitely love that. Um, Movie-wise, I'm a big Survivor fan. Okay. Um, I've even, like, sent in an audition tape trying to get on the show. Kind oh. Of thing. Um, I would love that opportunity. It's a great show. Um, I'm a very competitive person. You know, when you take all of those aspects it takes to be successful on Survivor, I'd love that opportunity. But, you know, those are probably my two favorites. That is some crazy lore. That yeah. is so interesting. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. Okay, what is one item on your bucket list? Obviously, probably to be on the Survivor show, right? That would be one. <laughs> I would love that opportunity. 
Um, but also go to skydiving with my kids. Mm -hmm. Two of my three kids have already been skydiving, and so that's that's going to take place this summer. Mm -hmm. So the three of us will go skydiving together. Super exciting. All right, now what are three things that you would bring to a deserted island? Um, this is a great question. Number one, a satellite phone. Okay. Number two, a boat. Okay, this is kind of cheating. Okay. And number three, fresh water. Okay. All right. We'll just move on. I can't. I can't even comment on that. Okay, you, no you're, you're cheating the system. I understand you're, where you're, you're going, but I'm like, system. listen, I don't want to be on the desert <laughs> island forever. I understand. I understand. Okay. If you could have one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pizza, easily. Good choice. I'm a pizza fiend. Solid. Yep. Okay. Like pineapple on pizza? Nope. Or? I'm very traditional. Very nice. Thin okay. crust pepperoni, extra. Thin pepperoni. crust pepperoni. Yep. Awesome. I love it. All right. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken. Okay. Any, any explanation of that? Want to dive into that? Or? I mean, you got to think. I mean, it's like the chicken has to come first. That's where the egg come from. True. So, yeah. It's so true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now tell me your best dad joke. Now I did some research on this one. Okay. okay. <laughs> so where does a pirate, where does a pirate go shopping for a hook? Where? At the second hand store. Perfect. <laughs> you nailed that one. The pirate joke. Yeah. Okay. I love it. I love it. All right. What was your favorite subject in high school? Government. Government. Yep. Easily government. Good one. Great teacher. Love love the subject. So yeah. Yes. Okay. What is your biggest pet peeve? Laziness. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, it's just laziness. If and it doesn't matter if you're young or old. Hard work solves so many problems. And if you're willing to just roll up your sleeves and put some time and effort into something, you're going to be successful. I agree. I agree. All right. Last question. And if you don't answer pirate blue, then I don't, I don't, just don't know how this is going to work, but what is your favorite color? I am, I have two. Okay. I have two. Okay. Pirate blue and what else? Blue <laughs> is one of them. Blue is one of them. Okay. And then red. So perf I love sports. Mm -hmm. Football is very, very important to me. Mm -hmm. And so I'm a big Dallas Cowboy fan. Okay. In addition to a Charlestown Pirate fan. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, and I'm a big. Our football team's elite. So. Uh, and I'm very excited for football season. Everybody tells me about the great traditions we have here. It is. So it's very super fun. Excited. Yes. And then, being from Nebraska, huge Cornhusker fan. Okay. By the way, to all the Purdue fans out there, I do apologize because we beat them in basketball last night. <laughs> the number one ranked team in the country, and we beat them significantly. So, um, yeah. it is red and blue, but by all means, Monday through Friday. Pirate blue. Pirate blue. Pirate blue. Yes, Good answer. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you for me today, me. Mr. Ihuson. This was a lot of fun. Yes, thank you.